Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the tutorial on SRE Toolkit. For this episode, I am going to show you how you can extract FASTA files from SRE accessions. In the previous episode, I showed you how to do that for FASTA. So you can just watch that video if you are interested. The link is in the description box. So for this tutorial, again, you need to install SRE Toolkit. And I have a separate video that shows you how to install the SRE toolkit. You can just use the binary file, so you can just use um, Anaconda to install. So if you're using a Linux system, those tutorials are for you. Of course, you can also install on Windows as well, but I prefer to use Linux. So let's continue. So I am on my terminal now. And so what I would like to do is to first organize my activity. And so I just want to separate what I'm doing from other files I've generated. So I'll create a directory first called SRE data. I'll cd to it. And then from there, I can begin my activity. Okay, so uh, that's what we are going to do. We are going to do this exercise for uh, both single end and then paired end um, reads. So I'll begin with a single end read. So I'll demonstrate using this accession ID here. And so first you do a prefetch. Okay, so you do a prefetch and then you specify the accession number and then you hit enter to execute the command and then you wait for the SRO file to be downloaded. So it's done. Let's do an ls. And you see it here. Okay, this is it. So from here, you we'll use faster kill dump to do uh, the extraction. So you say faster kill dump dash dash faster. And then you specify the session number here. You execute. It's done. Okay, so that's how it is. So let's do an ls and you'll find it here. This is the first A file. Let's clear the screen. LS. Yeah, so and now we we'll just do a bit of exploration in here. So let's say head SR R blah 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 and then the accession number. This is how it is. Okay, so we do a head just to explore and get some content from here. So there's the um, sequence. We have several sequences in there. Okay, so uh, that is why Linux is important. And for bioinformatician because it allows you to manipulate um, text files here. So I'll just do a bit of exploration here. I just want to count how many sequences are present in this file. With fast A files, uh, each sequence begins with a greater than symbol here. So by counting the greater than symbol, we will know how many sequences are present here. Not the length, but the different sequences available here. There's one sequence, there's another sequence, there's another sequence. Okay, so they have their own um, identifiers. So I'll use grep. I will specify the greater than symbol and then give the file, the first A file. And then I'll issue a pipe and say wc-l to count it. So I have 23011, okay, um, different sequences in this file. That is what we have here. But then, let me just also just show you this. If I open this file in a text editor, like this one here, and you have this here. Okay, so notice that for each sequence, okay, there's the name for each sequence um, type, all the sequences, all the bases here, okay, they are in a single line, like this, okay. But then you can also customize it so that uh, you can have, let's say, 20 bases or 30 bases per line for each um, sequence. So that is what we are going to do uh, next. So let me just um, put this aside here. Let me just go back to the terminal, yeah. So I'll just do it this way. So what I'll do is to just move, rename this file here. And I'll say move, that's faster, 
let me just rename it as um, let's see let me see file one let me just put it um, file one dot faster let me just name it um, like that and then I'll just open it um, on my text editor um, first let me just um, put it here okay so back to what I want to do so in order to customize it um, let's just say you want to um, make this sequences um, have um, for each sequence um, you have you will group them into let's say 50 bases per line okay so to do that you use fast kill dump instead of faster kill dump because that's option that feature is available on um, fast kill dump if you try with faster kill dump you might have some error so i'll just issue fast kill dump and then i'll just say okay i'll say that that's faster let's say 50 and then i have it here so now if i say head dot faster like this notice how it has been done for you here okay so this is how uh, we do it okay so um, using the fast kill dump you'll be able to uh, customize it and have your sequences like this so this for each sequence so now if i come here if i open it here notice how it has been done um, for you so this is how we do it to uh, modify the output uh, file that is generated when using the SRA uh, toolkit. So this, this is cool. I mean, you can just so from here, if you want to explore the FASTA file, you can use Python to help you do that. BioPython uh, package will help you do that. I have a separate video that shows you how to explore FASTA files. So you can just watch that and look at how Python uh, can be used to uh, do uh, this. So and that's it for um, single length sequences. Now we move on to paired end sequences. We are going to use similar commands as we did with the single length sequences, but there will be a few changes to um, some of the options that we use. So let's clear the screen. Um, let me just um, let me create a new, a new directory. Let me just cd and then let me just uh, create, let's say, make the SRE data paired. I will cd to this one here. And just to separate uh, this file from the one we generated recently. So for this one, what we are going to do is to use this accession number uh, that I'm displaying right now. I will leave all those accession numbers in the description so you can just use them to um, just um, get your stuffs done. Okay, so that's what we do. So just um, issue the same prefetch, specify your accession ID, and then just download it. Okay, so download has been done. Let's do an LS. You see it here. Okay, so here, please take note that. When dealing with paired end sequences um, extraction, uh, there are two options you need to choose from. So let let me just issue faster kill dump first. Just call faster kill dump, and then let's screw up. So you can use either this or this. If all your reads have pairs or they have mate pairs, then you can use this one here. If um, some of the reads um, do not have mate pairs then you have to use this option, this, the split thread. But I assume for this tutorial that our data, all the reads have their mates, they, are, they have their mate pairs. So you use this option here. So just make sure um, you get information about the data and whether um, some of the reads have, are, are, are unpaired or not. And you can use the appropriate uh, option here. So let's go back. So here, you say faster kill dump, you split files, and then we say faster, and then you issue the assertion ID. Then we execute this command. So you wait for it to be done. And that was quick. So let's do an LS to confirm 
and you have what's your two fast A files there. Read one, read two. Let's do a head for um, read one. Let's do a head for read two. Okay, this one, I think I will do uh, this. Okay, let me just um, read this. So this read one, this read two. Okay, so we have them here and like this. Okay, so again, we can also customize them by changing um, how many bases um, are displayed per line. Okay, so for that, we need to um, use fast load dump. And please know that uh, if you issue the commands whilst the files are there, you have some error. So there are, there, there are two options. You can either remove the files or you can just um, add dash dash force to force it. But usually I prefer to remove them. So I'll just remove them then. And please be careful with the rm command because it leads to a permanent loss or permanent removal of your data. So I'll just remove this. And I'll also remove the two. Uh, just to be uh, clear. So now it's time to do it. So I'll just go back to the command I used here. So this time it's fast kill down. So I'll just do it this way. And then here I'll specify, let's say 40. And then I'll just run it. So it's done. So let's do an ls and we'll see it here. And let's do the head command. I'm just going back to the previous command. So notice how this is appearing. This is for read one. And then we also have for read two. We have them here. Okay, if let's say your Linux system has a GUI, it has a GUI, and then you can just open the file like I'm coming to do um, now here. So let me just open them here for you. So this it. So this what read one, this read two. So notice how they have been nicely done um, for us. So that's how we do it. If let's say um, you want um, to just customize or change the, uh, the number of bases per line. Okay, so that's how we do it. So I believe this has been helpful. So uh, you can just use this to also try and then just download uh, Struct Fast A files. So I believe this tutorial has been helpful. And uh, let me also get your comments and then you can now learn together. So that will be all for this tutorial and I will see you in the next session. Goodbye. Yeah.